Well, good morning. Um, well, at least it's morning where I am. So I actually just got out of my church service. Every Sunday I go to church and I really love it. So I don't know. I kind of randomly thought about this video idea and I'm inspired to share with you. Sorry, I'm bringing myself up a bit. <laughs> I'm inspired to share with you about my morning journal. I do, I do most of the time two journal entries. Anyway, let me, before I like jump into it, let's talk about who I am. If you've never been here, I feel like maybe I should do that. Uh, I'm Miranda, I'm a holistic nutritionist and I, I love life and I, I love to write. I love to sing, I love to be vegan and really care about the environment and my channel is about holistic wellness for the most part. I'd like to uh, talk more about fitness as well as recipes and things like that too. But I guess what really comes to me extremely naturally is talking about wellness, just overall well-being, because we all can use just a conversation like that and just having a brighter mindset on life so that can trickle down into everything every single thing that we do right so this video is going to be me cutting peaches i have five peaches because i'm a fruit-based vegan and if you don't know what that is it's when you eat a majority of fruit in your diet it's all whole foods all plant-based and gives you the most energy disease preventing so much fiber, so much hydration, so many carbohydrates, so much beautiful energy that you get from whole natural foods, like real plant foods that are meant to go inside of us. Anyway, so my morning journal is very special to me. I almost utilize it as a letter to God, because I'm a Christian, by the way. Um, but if you if you're not a believer um, yeah so if you're not a believer I would really start looking into yourself and thinking about okay do I live a fast-paced life or a slow-paced life am I aware of my thoughts and how I behave because of them right um, but the way that I do it, being a Christian, a renewed Christian, is I thank God every morning, basically. There's people. I thank God every day with this kind of letter. Um, and just, just me being mindful as well is extremely important too. It kind of goes down into everything in my life. Like the way that I eat, the way that I speak to myself, the way that I speak to others, the way that I, the way that I see challenges in my life. So um, it's extremely beneficial to those that are trying to adjust their mindset and coming from a traumatic event or something like that because I have had trials and tribulations just like everyone else, but um, I've worked through that and it, it takes energy, it takes time and it takes willpower to believe that you're worth it, right? Because for a long time I never believed I was worth anything. Um, anyway, getting so deep. So today is August 25th, 2024. And I always label my day um, as like just the way that I feel. I feel energized because I do. I always feel energized, especially when I'm making YouTube videos. So I hope you're here and feeling energized too. All right. So I'm going to cut up some peaches while I chat about what really makes a difference in journaling is always kind of not just zoning out when you're writing. Um, unless you're kind of writing like a stream of consciousness, it's really important to be present and to really feel what you're writing. Kind of feel it within you. You know what I mean? So I always kind of reiterate what I write down. Today's August 25th, 2024, and I feel energized. And I just start writing thank you. Thank you 
for the sun. Because I love the sun, it brings me serotonin, it gives me vitamin D, it extremely energizes me and it makes me happy and it brightens everything up and I'm very grateful for the sun. So thank you for the sun. <laughs> thank you for abundance. Abundance of beautiful people online that I get to chat with every single day, talk to and inspire, which inspires me to keep going and doing that. So keep going. And if you feel inspired to do the same thing, do it and I would love it. And I will subscribe to you if you make a YouTube channel, just tag, tag yourself basically down below. Um, I want to support you guys just like you support me. So I'm um, thank you for abundance of love in my life, abundance of health in my life, abundance of laughter because I, I'm a very giggly laughy person. So I love to laugh and thank you for all the abundance, um, money, all the abundance of beauty all around me. So I'm very thankful for that. So thank you for abundance. So this is kind of what I do. And, um, I just keep going with that. And I know I kind of feel like I'm just talking to myself, but I'm not really talking to myself, I'm talking to God. And I'm, I'm putting things out there that I believe in. I truly believe that I am worth it. So yeah. And after I kind of am done writing thank yous, I kind of do maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 or something like that. Sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on how thankful I'm feeling that day, right? After that, I write like just what I'm grateful for. It can be anything or what I'm excited for or what I believe that I need to get get done in my life. What what brings me passion, right? What brings me joy. So, I always say I'm grateful for my good health. Because if I don't have good health all the way around, emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually, then I am nothing, if that makes sense. If I don't really nurture myself, how can I nurture others and make them feel like they belong, like they deserve, like they can achieve something if I don't believe it in myself? So you have to believe in yourself, right? Then the way that you perceive the world the lens that you wear, right, changes. So you see opportunities come before you and you don't see obstacles. Does that make sense? So then I say, I am grateful for healthy food. And I'm a big advocate for you are what you eat, right? I am what I eat. We are rebuilt on what we consume, not just physically though. But I mean, yes, that makes up our physical cells and this physical vessel and this physical body we have, but it can also affect everything else too. Like rebuilding our cells helps rebuild the cells in our brain, right? Which helps our mental health, our emotional health, right? And our spiritual health too. So what you consume is music, what you consume is television. What you consume is consuming your food. The people around you, your environment, and your thoughts that come to you. Do you decide how to go about that? Do you decide, I'm not going to think that today. Because when I think that, I'm at a lower vibration. I don't want to be like that. So you decide what you consume. <laughs> That, does that make sense in the way of thoughts? Like, I don't need to have self-doubt, right? There's a healthy amount of limitation. But I don't have to believe that I'm not of capable of something because someone else believes it. Or because there are challenges ahead of me. We can see 1,000 things wrong with something. Or 1,000 reasons not to do something. But if there's one good, solid reason, solid way to do something, focus on that. Focus on what you can do, what you can control. And if there's something you can control, make peace with that or move on from that. Stop making excuses, right? 
I used to make so many excuses for everything. Oh, I'm not like this because I'm not like that. I'm not like this because I need more money. I'm not like this because I have this person in my life that brings me down, right? No. We are not succumbing to anything anymore. This is our life. We need to trust in God and trust in ourselves and trust in the process because patience is so important. And I, I've had to work on my patience. <laughs> and in a life uh, like this, like in America, where I live, I, I see so much immediate gratification. It's insane. We can get anything in the click of a button, in the flick of a finger, in a touch on our screen. We can get anything, so much information. We can talk to anyone around the world. And this is all a blessing. This is all a blessing, right? But it can really distract us from real slow life and nature because nothing happens overnight in nature. Uh, it's just, I look back to nature and how seasons work too. Like there are no, like maybe there are some, but most plants don't bloom all year round, right? And I know you've, you might've seen that quote, oh, no flower blooms all year round. So that doesn't mean you have to either. So sometimes we have our rooting phase. Sometimes we have our seedling phases, right? Sometimes we have our blooming, blossoming phases. And then we might have our leaves falling. We might have shriveling up decay. But that doesn't mean you have to look at it in a bad way. It's just a stage of life. So acknowledge that and hold it close to you. Say, I don't need to feel sad about this because I know that it'll pass for one. Two, I know that it'll help me grow. Just like when plants die in my garden, I know that the nutrients from those plants are going to help the next year's plants flourish and just do its thing. <laughs> so I don't know where I'm going with that, but I need to cut up these peaches because I'm hungry. But um, yeah. I wanted to do something else in this video, but yeah, that's kind of what I do uh, with my journal in the morning and it makes a huge difference. I have a, filmed a video. If you haven't seen it, it's the best ways to wake up, right? So take a look at that. And I do dive in a little bit about journaling too, but this is more so my, my morning journal, which is different than my evening journal. Like my evening journal is just kind of like a mind dump stream of consciousness and kind of what I'm thankful for happening that day or like what I'm excited about the next day, right? So it's a little bit different, a little more kind of like laid back, if you know what I mean. Like I'm not, I'm not as, I guess I'm not as mindful because I'm just kind of letting things off my chest, you know, letting weights off my shoulders from the day, so. And... I also, uh, I do daily, uh, what's it called? Affirmations as well. And it's nothing that you have to be scared of. It's nothing. It's like magical, wicked. No, it's not like that. Um, it's basically just putting your intentions out there, making it clear to yourself what you believe about yourself, about your world, about your situation and your health and everything else so i have free daily affirmations in the link in my bio about like how to boost your confidence how to feel self-love how to go through uh hard times and grow um how to align a healthy mind with a healthy body inside and out so take a look at those and I think they'll really help you. And add those to your journal entries. Write them down every day. And message me if they help you in any way. So, And another thing is if you want to start a fruit-based abundant lifestyle, I have a 30 recipe book, right? 
there's desserts, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there's smoothies, there are sauces, dips, things like that, and ways I save money. And I also have a whole other video on how I save money being a fruit-based vegan and focusing on whole foods, right? And uh, so, and there's daily meal planners with daily questions, weekly meal planner, uh, fruit-based and plant-based myths, how to get enough protein, right? The protein kind of myth. And not like you don't need it. All macronutrients are important, remember, but you need more carbohydrates because if you eat more carbohydrates, there's still protein in that. A lot of foods that are high in protein, animal foods, don't have carbohydrates. So why do that? I mean, you can eat beautiful, energizing, whole plant foods, lots of living foods that make you feel alive and electric. So take a look at that. If you are struggling on a vegan lifestyle and want to change your digestion, make it better, have a clear skin, have beautiful, beautiful hair that's growing like a weed. And yeah, never restrict again, never start binging again. Just stop your disordered eating because I, I used to struggle with that even being vegan so this helped me live a beautiful abundant life so it's only $9.99 and it's like it's like way more worth that like I would probably buy it for like 40 bucks but I put it at $9.99 because I want it to be accessible to anybody that may not have the financial stability right now to afford like oh I'm an amazing course no it's not about that I just want to expose this beautiful abundant lifestyle to anybody that can spend ten dollars on it right that's like two drinks at starbucks or something right guys like let's let's stop getting that and start drinking juice right Woohoo! or smoothies anyway i'm so grateful that you're here that you decided to click on this video and thank you for subscribing to me and if not please subscribe i post almost daily shorts and i try to post at least two long form videos a week um let me know if you guys want any more and what you want to see from me on youtube what questions you have and just your thoughts on this subject i would love to start a chat maybe a debate who knows whatever you guys feel like doing just comment down below and please like this video to see more just like this all right so have a beautiful day, morning, evening, or wherever you are and whatever you're doing, do it with love, do it with gratitude, and do it knowing that it is affecting the world in a positive, beautiful way. All right, well, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.